in case you're curious, just five gallons of this good stuff. How's he gonna stir it? Well, firstly, I'm gonna wash my bottle because I don't want you all to say it's dirty. <laughs> then I can come in with a nice little stir. And Are I you serious? He rinsed it with the pool water? He thinks that's clean? People go in that water and just no space for ice. I can't believe he just did that. What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video. And today, we're gonna watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, let's go check this out. Homeboy, we got the cooler. And of course he has glass next to the pool. Come on, safety. You cannot have glass near the pool. Because if it breaks and it falls on the bottom, you can't see it. The only way you can get rid of it, all the broken glass completely, is by draining the pool. Don't do this. And they grab them four by four. Ah! Why are you making that by the pool? Why can't you just make that in the kitchen? That igloo container has wheels for a reason. Why over here, why put glass next to the pool? You just created a hazardous situation when it wasn't even necessary. Get a little bit of pineapple and that tequila. Oh Lord, I get wet. <laughs> little bit of lime slices. Some mango mania. <laughs> that's not a mango, that's a watermelon. Oh, we hit it with the triple sec. <sighs> then we realized we got some more triple sec. Oh, sorry, these peach snaps, sorry. Does he know what he's doing? He's just making it up as he's going like, he doesn't even know what bottles he set up. Because it's a margarita, you need to hit it with a little bit of lime juice. We ain't got time to squeeze them, so we just get it in the bottle, okay? Lime juice from Kroger. That's all the lime juice you're putting in? You just put in four giant bottles of triple sec, and you also put some peach snaps in there. You're gonna tell me that small amount of lime juice is meant to counter the sugar, and all of that, this is not enough. This is gonna be so sweet. Now we look around and we realize we need some juices over the top. This ain't much mixes, but hey. It needs more lime juice, and the pineapple juice is gonna be sweet. This thing is gonna be so sweet. Sky, how do you drink it? <laughs> Watch my child. You grab a little empty bowl. Oh my God! Did you, I can't believe that he just did that. He just stuck a bottle into his punch. Like why does he even wear gloves? if you're gonna be this unsanitary. Those bottles have been sitting in the liquor store, random people are touching it, and I doubt that he washed those bottles. And even if he did, why would you do it this way? Also, you cannot have glass inside ice. Actually, you shouldn't even have glass near the pool. So any trace of safety has already been thrown out the window. And you hold it right underneath there like that. This science, okay? Some of y'all going, his hands are dirty, I'm wearing gloves. So my hands are clean. It doesn't matter if you're wearing gloves, you touched the outside of the bottles. So now you have to change your gloves, which you obviously didn't do. And what does it matter? You have a spoon that already touched the outside of the pool. Just because you're wearing gloves doesn't mean you're clean. In fact, studies have shown that people who wear gloves tend to be more dirty because they keep forgetting to wash their hands because it gives them a false sense of security that they're clean. Now, we got our pack of Jello. We just need blue. And so I go in with half a box. Does he know what flavors they are or is he just choosing them because of the color? Now we can need some tape. You're doing construction here, homeboy. All right, guys, so let's put a little piece over there like so. He really used his mouth to tear the tape that he's gonna use to make these jello shots. Come on, COVID. This is right on 2022. Have you learned nothing? Got my cups. Let's get a, let's get a cup out. No, I don't need to cut it. He touched that jello with his, this is not sanitary. Like of all the times to wear a glove, this is probably the right time to wear it. And he, this time he's not wearing gloves, which is bizarre. I don't think I've ever seen him not wear gloves. This is what it look like when I go grocery shopping. Oh Lord, my fruits and vegetables are here. Okay, let's stop. Don't tell me he's bringing glass to the swimming pool again. Once again, safety. You can't bring glass because if you get broken glass in there, you can't see it. And the only way you can get it completely out is if you drain the pool. That's Long Island time. We got here. Lemons? Oh lord, it in the pool. How do you miss a giant opening like that? Not only is he creating a mess in his kitchen, but he's also making a mess in the pool. He's lucky that's only a lemon. Because like I said, you shouldn't put glass near there because it could have been a lot worse. Let's leave that in there seasoning. Then we got some strawberries. Of course, he's still making a mess. How hard is it to pour it into that container without making a mess? Let's get our tequilas open. I always say, oh, the liquor's fake. It's fake liquor. Homeboy, you hear these popping open? These are real as hell. 
Nobody thinks they're fake. You're using the cheapest things you can get. If it was fake, you would probably use more expensive and premium products. And you come behind that delicious rum with a touch of Mexico. Tequila, the only place in the world that's allowed to call this drink tequila. If you make this the exact same way they make it in Mexico, you can't call it tequila because Mexico owns that name, okay? Also, nobody could make it. The only other place that has enough agave to make any spirit or any type of fermentation is parts of Africa. There's agave all over California, but it's not as much as Mexico to be even practical to ferment and distill. And even there, they're starting to run out. Now we got our gins, okay? I don't even know what to look. Cool bottle. Someone sent me this. Someone sent that to you and not even gonna give that gin brand a shout out? Or is it just some random person that sent you that gin? This is precisely why bars don't like serving this particular drink, because it got so much alcohol in it, you all have a couple and you all start going crazy. The one night I see someone die in a bar, they were drinking something like this. Long Island's don't have any more alcohol. It's just a Collins with a split base. Still the same amount of liquor. You just have four of them. Why are you pouring it over the knife like that? What is that supposed to do? Guys, I was trying to create a nice little smooth layer. Did not work out. Yeah, of course not. You don't have any ice in there. Everything is almost the same density. Damn, it's black now. She turned black, this is the devil. I got a new name for this one, this is the Bastard Punch. So what, it's just a Long Island with more Coke than sweet and sour mix? You sure you invented that or was it just a accidental mistake of not remembering the proportions of a Long Island iced tea? In case you're curious, there's five gallons of this good stuff. How's he gonna stir it? Well, first thing, I'm gonna wash my bottle because I don't want you all to say it's dirty. <laughs> then I can come in with a nice little stir. Are you serious? He rinse it with the pool water? He thinks that's clean? People go in that water. Why don't you use that knife that you just had? And just no space for ice. Another room temperature drink. I can't believe he just did that. Now I can take a little sip of this bad boy. Don't worry, I'm wearing gloves. So my hands are... What do you mean you're wearing gloves? You put your hand into the pool. Your gloves are dirty. You're supposed to change your gloves. Drink responsibly, don't drink and drive. Stay tipsy. <laughs> Oh god, this is a hair on your chest one. Woo! Yeah, it's also freaking warm. I mean, that was more than half of pure alcohol and there's no ice. So now you really feel the heat of all those spirits. Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.